the first showdown I would like to discuss is, of course, the Saxonville defensive line. You've got your Calais Campbell, Yannick, Lil John, and Gakwe up against the GOAT, the Patriots quarterback. Let's just do him singularly in Tom Brady. Who gets the best of who? Round one of a fight. Ooh, I'm going with Tom Brady. Just for the simple fact, we say this every single season. We say this every single postseason. What do you got to do to beat Tom Brady? You got to put pressure on. You got to hit him. You got to get him down. As creative as his defense is, even when they send three, four, five, they can get home to the quarterback. But Tom Brady just sits in there in that pocket with complete composure, some of the best of all time. And even when he gets hit in the chin and he's dragging himself off the ground, he will look at that defender and say, let's go, mm -hmm. let's go. So I'm going with Tom Brady. Two years ago, I know you were at the game. I know you were at the game. I know I was at the game. I saw a defensive line from Denver annihilate Tom Brady, Malik oh, yeah. Jackson, Von Miller, all those people getting after him. Guess who's on this Jacksonville defensive line? Malik Jackson mm -hmm. again and Calais Campbell, Dante Fowler coming off the edge. The only teams that beat the Patriots in the playoffs, especially up in Foxborough, are the ones that have a fearless pursuit of that man, Tom Brady. And I think this is one of the only teams in the league that can do it. I think they give Brady fits on Sunday. I think this is a game. Mm. Von Miller was a transcendent star in that game. I don't know if uh, Jackson was somebody that good. I also know that Brady's going to be ready, all right? And Brady's got Dion, and Brady might have Burkhead.